Let's do a self-exploration on Atmanirriti Chapter 12 The Non-Existence of Objects Let's sit comfortably. Let's close our eyes. Recognize that thoughts keep arising and falling. When thoughts arise, I see myself. A thought is a reflection of me. When there are no thoughts, I am resting in myself. Everything that I see, hear, taste, touch, smell, is nothing but a thought. The seed of this world picture is only a thought. Every morning, the world picture arises from this seed and every night the world picture dissolves back into this seed. My personal world is nothing but images on a screen projected by me, the light. I, the infinite ocean, am the source of the light. I, the infinite ocean, am the shining light. I, the infinite ocean, am the projected image. All is me. I am the seer. I am the process of seeing. I am the object of sight. There is only one single sight thought. When this sight thought arises, I am seeing my own self.
there is no object of sight separate from me. The waking sight is not different from the dream sight. No physical eye is needed to perceive the sight thought. What does this mean? An object of sight does not exist apart from me. I do not need a physical world to experience an object of sight. I do not need a physical eye to experience a sight thought. There is no object of sight before the seeing, during the seeing, nor after the seeing. An object of sight does not exist apart from me. Recognizing the truth about the non-existence of sight objects breaks all bondage because bondage is only due to the false experiencership of objects of sight. Drop the labels and see clearly. Everything is a single screen thought. Everything is a single screen thought. Everything is a single screen thought.